everyone. Today we will talk about epidural headache, especially after cesarean section. What is epidural headache? It is the type of headache which occurs after a patient receives an epidural injection. It is also known as spinal headache or postural puncture headache. What are the indications of epidural injection? Epidural injections are not just related to childbirths. Healthcare professionals may administer them for several reasons such as pain management, anesthesia before surgery, spinal cord stimulator placement and more. How much is the severity of spinal headache? Although epidural headaches occur as side effects of injections, they are not really serious and go away fairly quickly. Let's look at epidural headaches in detail to see how we can deal with them. What causes epidural headache? The spinal column of the body is a massive network of veins, nerves and arteries along with the fats and are all protected by the spinal bones. Because of this, the healthcare professionals can only inject in either the epidural or subarachnoid spaces. A needle will have to pass through several layers of the skin and muscle with epidural space containing mostly air while subarachnoid space hold cerebrospinal fluid. The goal behind the epidural injection is to access the spinal space along with puncturing the dura or subarachnoid space. Coming into contact with the dura can lead to leakage of cerebrospinal fluid into the spine. So, an epidural headache is caused by a healthcare professional accidentally puncturing the dura causing leakage of CSF. What are the symptoms of epidural headaches? Not everyone gets headache from an accidental dural puncture. However, people usually experience a headache that become worse once they stand up. They usually describe it as a dull, throbbing, regular pain in the head. Some people present with headache symptoms that become intense while lying down. The headache can severely limit people's movement, but becomes very difficult to deal with if people is giving birth and require epidural injections to deal with the pain. How we can treat the epidural headaches? The most common treatment of an epidural headache involves transporting blood to the epidural space. This is called epidural blood patch. While it may sound odd, an epidural blood patch can help relieve pain by taking some blood from a vein and injecting it into epidural space. Performing this second epidural injection can help relieve headache symptoms in 61 to 98% of cases depending on which study you look at. Furthermore, the relief after an epidural blood patch is almost instant with a minimal chance of headache coming back. Why epidural blood patch helps relieve the headache? The most recent theory on epidural blood patch suggests that they increase CSF pressure which help heal the puncture faster. Now this table is from the talk article about headache in pregnancy. In this table, the postural puncture headache is described. The puncture of the dura occurs in 0.5 to 2.5 percent of epidurals. If an accidental dural puncture occurs with an epidural needle, there is 70 to 80 percent chance of postural puncture headache. The headache is usually in the frontooccipital regions and radiates to the neck. It is usually worse on standing and typically develops 24 to 48 hours post puncture. The conservative management includes hydration and simple analgesics. In cases of untreated headache, the headache typically lasts for 7 to 10 days but can last up to 6 weeks. The epidural blood patch has about 60 to 90 percent cure rate. So that was all about epidural headache or the spinal headache. Thank you so much. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Allah Hafiz.